let it dry a little bit. You have to let it do its thing. Then I'm gonna continue working down her head. I'm gonna take another section and I'm just gonna lift this over. Now for her, her hair is so long that I don't need it, but if you needed a clip, you could kind of put one in there. I'm gonna open this up a little bit over here, hold this this way, and then I'm gonna take this again. Remember, 12 inches. You don't wanna to go too close to the scalp or it's not going to be as effective. I'm gonna come in. Spray it right in the scalp, only in the scalp area. This is not a roots to ends hair dryer. And then you can see I'm kind of pushing this and allowing it to dry and separating the hair. If I left it really flat, it's not gonna have quite that same effect. So I'm gonna take this whole piece, move it over this side. I'm not gonna over focus on this yet. Sometimes we concentrate too much on each piece that we're working on. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you have one piece, you're like beat it to death to get it to look the way you want it to look. Don't do that. Well, it's like it's, a spring, right? Because right. then once you like completely undo the spring, right. it, can't, it doesn't have its balance. That's right. And you don't want to over agonize. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Do the whole thing first and then bring it together. So we're going to work on this side as well. I'm going to part this. I'm going to move it over. This is a great product too. Like, let's say you've got a uh, a night before the wedding, a rehearsal dinner, and then you have a wedding that the next day. So you do your hair for the rehearsal dinner and it's the beautiful blow dry that Stephanie had. And then you wake up the next morning and let's say she's gonna throw this up into an updo or something, uh, put her hair up. You wanna make sure that you have enough grit in your hair. And this is kind of a great product. Though it can feel clean, it also gives you that little bit of like beachy feeling, you know? It gives it that little bit of grit that helps your hair stay and has more of that style hold. This is an awesome option for that. You're gonna let this all dry and then you're gonna be able to throw your hair up and have it stay really well. Yeah. You're gonna be able to get more volume in it. If you're looking for a ponytail or something and you don't want it like slick to your head, you want it still to look like you have hair and not a helmet going back. And remember guys, part of the reason why this works so well is because it's in this kind of blast Yes. can, right? So you're going to shake it up. It's like a spaceship. Yeah, you're going to hold it about 12 inches away from your scalp, from wherever you're going to spray it. And look at this. It's like, psh, it's like the same stuff that, you know, the same type of component that cleans out, you know, like your computer keyboard. Oh, totally. That, it's the same component, right? <laughs> Except that, that much force is pushing through, and that's how you're getting that blast to your hair, right? So it's amazing. And it smells so great. I mean, it really does have a wonderful, beautiful, luxurious scent to it. So if you want it, you can pick it up at beautyiq.com. You've got a great price on your screen. Maybe you're adding it into your shopping cart and you're gonna pick it up at the end of the show because Gina said she wishes she could get all the items from our show tonight because uh, she is in love with every one of them. All right, so let's take a look at Stephanie's before photo again um, because, you know, when you've got really long, heavy, thick hair, it's hard to get the volume. Uh, right there on the screen, that's Stephanie's hair with just a wash and an air dry. Um, and now we're gonna take a look at her va va voom. Right? Um, wow. Absolutely. I didn't think you could get more volume in her hair th than from before, and you really did create some crazy volume there. Yeah, it's That's all amazing. about that moment of letting it do its job. You know, if you cut that too short, you're not gonna get the results that you need. So by using this, letting it dry, giving it that moment, don't get in there with a brush and start brushing and then wonder why it's not working. You're not giving it the chance. It's like when you yell at your husband and you expect him to fix it immediately. He has to try for next time, right? You gotta give it a shot. <laughs> Uh, remember, Stephanie in the chat just wrote, um, yeah, I love that can. Uh, it's like an <laughs> air can. It's really amazing. Uh, look at this, guys. It's like, it's really <laughs> fabulous. It's like, it's it's so cool. Uh, if you want it, remember, pick it up here at beautyiq.com and you can get that home. And that's the way that you really get to the root of the volume, right? Because that's where volume begins. At the root, you want the hair to stand up and you want it to have that life. Now, we're gonna continue with our next part of this tutorial of getting to the root, and it addresses that issue of like next day hair again. Right, Adrian? Absolutely. Okay, so what are you gonna show us now? So Amy, let's just say she went out on the town and she went to a bar in 1980 when they still smoked in bars. There is nothing <laughs> worse.